it's Miss Pritzel at the Appleton West Library, and I'm very excited to talk to you about Fourth Wing, which is a romanticy. By the way, that is not a new genre. I can give a whole bunch of titles that many years back that are, that are romanticies, so romance and fantasy. This is an adult book, which normally I would not be able to buy for our library because of a very spicy, like one very, very spicy scene, um, but it won an Alex Award, so... That's a book for teens, an award for teens. So I can buy this book. I just hope I can buy the other books in the series at some point. All right. So this is book one of the Empyrean series. Uh, the There's planned five books. Uh, the second book is out. The third book is not coming out until January 2025 is what I saw most recently this past week. Uh, so our main character is Violet Soringale. It is told in first person point of view through almost this entire book until the very, very end. And the next book picks up on the uh there's more than her just her point of view so violet's mother is the commanding general of the navarre which is the dragon riders quadrant violet has always planned to be a scribe like her father but violet's mother forces her into the dragon riders quadrant which is bad because uh it's extremely dangerous uh the training is dangerous other candidates will kill you to improve their chances of bonding with the dragon and violet is a little bit fragile because she has some kind of illness. Um, I know because the author has this particular illness, so the author based it on her own illness, but they never give it a name, so she's considered fragile. Now, we have Zayden Ryerson, or however you want to say his name, it's X-A-D-E-N. Zayden Ryerson is uh, the considered the most ruthless uh, uh, wing leader uh, and he's like two years older, I believe, than Violet. But he's considered the most ruthless wing leader. And he is also one of a hundred and some children whose Violet's mother had a hand in killing their parents because their parents rebelled against the Empire. And so these children, there's some different names, but these children all have uh, relics. They call them relics in the book. They're like tattoos but there's also a magical quality to these tattoos as we find out um so all of these candidates are being forced into the dragon rider school that's part of the deal partly maybe because it's dangerous maybe it's because the empire wants to kill them off we don't know uh so obviously we have zayden on one side and violet on the other side and you know violet's afraid that zayden's after her because uh, her mom yeah all right Here's the other thing, is that if you bond with a dragon, you start to develop magical powers based on that bond with your dragon. So the people who are dragon riders have magical powers, because not it's, it's a magical world, but not everybody has magic. And some of the powers are pretty cool and some pretty scary. <laughs> so um, I think you can guess, since this is a five book series, whether Violet survives the training and whether she bonds with the dragon or not, but there are plenty of other exciting twists and turns in this book that are going to keep you going. As you can tell, I enjoyed this book. I would call this book candy. I've talked to some people, people who love it, people who feel like, oh, it wasn't, I'm like, I just enjoyed it. I, I enjoy Dragon Fantasy. Dragon Fantasy has not been popular lately, so I'm hoping this will bring a resurgence of Dragon Fantasy. And I think if you just enjoy the Dragon Fantasy, just enjoy it. Like I said, for those of you who don't want the spicy scene, it's one scene that's super detailed, okay? One scene. Okay, you can skip over it. <laughs> and just enjoy the world building that Rebecca Yaros does. Because I, I personally in, enjoyed it. Uh, I know there are uh, some of my uh, real readers who love fantasy didn't weren't as happy with it. But I did enjoy it. And I know a lot of teachers have enjoyed it as well. So um, if this is not your cup of tea, I'll help you find something else. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and keep on reading.